Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the Medford Mass bank-owned analysis for the past few months here. And um, what we're looking at is, um, what we're looking at right now is condos, single families, and multifamilies. Right now we have a condo that came on the market 23 days ago and already has an accepted offer. It's 3920 Mystic Valley Parkway Unit 1118. Top floor unit, uh, private balcony. What is of note is look at the price, 234.9. Now, going back, this one hasn't closed yet. They're waiting for whatever contingency to be underway, but it, it has an accepted offer. And what is of note that's important is that a condo on the first floor, unit 110, Sold for 252 on in September of 2010, and uh, has similar finishes. It might even be in better condition. So whatever the analysis came in for that property, this was a great deal for that top floor condo. Uh, some of the other stuff that's on the market here that's bank owned is we have a single family on Elm Street that's active. It's a two bed, two and a half bath bungalow for 144.9. 144.9. Um, the assessed value is 257. And going back, the property was last purchased for 305 in 2004. Just to let you know the wide range of what has happened. 305, it's now on for half of that. Half. Under agreement for Ellis, it's been on for a while. This property has just been. It's nice. It's certainly livable right away. It's under agreement at two ninety nine. I'm interested. To see. I bet you it's gone under for a lot less than that because of uh, it's been on the market for three hundred thirty three days. Let's see what someone paid for this property. Three ninety two. So a hundred thousand dollars less essentially. Here are some under agreement bank owned homes. In Medford, we got two Magoon. Let's take a look at some of the higher priced one. Two eighty nine for sixty Cushing Street, and Sunny single family in Riverside area. Definitely looks livable. Big house, twenty one hundred square feet. Decent sized lot. Let's see what somebody paid for that. For three sixty. So that was last sold for 360. Now on for 289. So checking out some of these multifamily. Let's one more condo to take a look at. 113 Otis Street. Sold for 180. And uh, it was last sold before that for. It was actually a multifamily they converted for 470. Um, the person who bought the other unit paid 155. But let's take a look at some of these three families and what they were going for. 389 Salem Street sold for 360. And was last sold for 401. That's not too bad. I have seen some properties that were the discrepancies were enormous. 3133 Harvard, someone bought it for 340. And last paid 370. That's not too bad. Main Street. Uh, someone paid three twenty for this bank owned two family, and it was last purchased for five. Nope, they didn't. They tried to sell it for five seventy nine. Both units have two bedrooms and one bath. We got Morton Ave sold for three fifteen. This is a two bedroom, three bedroom. And it last sold for four ninety five in two thousand four. Wow, four ninety five is pretty expensive for a two family. So this is some of the solds and what's happened and what people, what deals people have got for uh, being at the right place at the uh, right time and taking advantage of some of the bank's willingness to unload 
on a at a quicker pace and what you can see here 61 Dunan 2005 sold for 470 2010 sold for 375 95 thousand dollars less and back when this was um, sold in 2005 the original owners sold it so um, that's some of the bank owned right now in Medford for basically have that single family on Elm Street is the only one available we're seeing them come up all the time and they're moving quick so stay on the blog